we've got this 4020 John Deere tractor here, and it's only got one set of hydraulics on it. So we're going to mount another one right over here. And I'm just going to show you how we do that. We're going to first take the covers off up here, the cowling cover and the platform off. There's just some bolts right here on the bottom. I'll take that off. And then the bolts that go around the sides here to take the cowling off. All right, we got the cowling off, and now we got to pop the hood off. So we're going to take the air cleaner loose here, take the lids off the diesel tank and the antifreeze, and we'll slide the hood off the top. The bolts that hold it on are under here, so we'll have to pop the side cover off too. All right, we popped the cover off. Uh, got it sitting over here, and the air cleaner and the muffler off. So now we're just, uh, this plate on the bottom, this is where the second remote's gonna go, right here's the valve for it. So we're gonna take, there's three bolts on the top here, we got two of them loose, they're 9 16 and then this bottom cover will come right off here, and then that other valve will sit right up underneath it. We'll need three longer bolts, which the used kit that I got came with, which are right here. All right, so we got that second valve mounted here. Put the long bolts on, the plate on the bottom. Now we're gonna start running the linkage for the handle and the hydraulic lines. So we take this bolt loose right on the bottom here, and then that, that'll hold the, the new lever, and then this lever right here for the second remote. And then we've also got the linkage here to put on, hook up. We'll take that bolt out and we'll hook up the linkage it goes on the back side of the valve here, and on the very bottom down there, you can see where it's connecting to. Yeah, not very well from where we're at right now, but right there on the bottom is where that linkage will connect to on the valve. So it is important to use the longer bolt that comes with it because it'll bottom out otherwise. The one on the, the shorter one, of course, is the old one with the two remotes, and then the longer one is the far one. All right, <clears throat> so we got the valve uh, mounted here, and we're gonna we got the handle hooked up. We got a couple clips we got to put on yet to hold that um, cape, the hold the linkage there. We got the uh, platform loose here, just the four bolts, and we're gonna pop that off so we can run the lines to the back. All right, to run the lines, we got to take the the back. Uh, covers off here too so there's a couple bolts there and we'll take this whole back cover off to run the lines here so we'll start tearing her apart here all right we got that cover off it was just two bolts back here and then two bolts on the front side up there and now we're going to put the actual uh, remote on here and it just mounts to this plate back here Okay, so we got one line ran through, and it goes, well, I don't have that cover off, but the, through uh, right along the side here. It's a two-piece line. It goes down here, and then underneath this cover here, which I'll show you in a little bit, it connects to another line that comes across the back side here and connects to the valve. So... I, it did come with two metal lines, but the other metal line must have gotten tweaked or is maybe not quite right for this year of tractor. And it's not going to work, so I it's Sunday and I can't get a hose made. So I went to Ace and just got a hose here and I'm going to have to kind of put some fittings together to make it work. But this is the other line and we're going to put it, since it's kind of next to the hot stuff here, we're going to run metal line down under the cover here and put rubber hose from the rest of the way back so that's not too big of a deal obviously ideally we'd keep the metal lines but we're going to run the hose just because um, you can't even get the metal lines from deer anymore and the other one is not quite right for this tractor so so we got everything connected back here looks kind of ugly but we had to get a 90 to run the hydraulic hose down um, obviously the metal line, I couldn't get it to work to connect the one that I got with the tractor. It must have been a power shift or synchro or 
or ours is a synchro, that one must have been a power shift, or maybe it was a little bit uh, uh, later of a tractor or something. Something wasn't quite right. So we were able to make one of the steel lines work, but the other one, we just ran a, a hydraulic hose back here. So we had a the, the um, toolbox back here fits right over the top of this, so we had to keep everything pretty tight because it just fits right on top of everything here. It'll cover everything up pretty nicely here so it won't look so ugly, but. And then it has to go on the other side of this hydraulic line because of the way that it's still got original batteries in it. Or not brand, not original, but the original design. And we ran the hydraulic hose up like this underneath with the metal line. And then right there's the hydraulic line. We connected it to the metal line there. And then the other line goes right up behind it. You can just see it there goes up and then comes through the cowling here this side and connects so at least we got metal lines up on the front side here so that looks all right and I'm hoping some of that sheet metal will cover up the back a little bit but I think you're still gonna be able to see it of course especially on the side here but that's the way it is if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button below and if you want to see more videos like this come up in your feed, please subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to find out when our next video comes out every week, hit that notification bell below and uh, that'll send you a notification when our next video comes out, which we try to send them out every week. Thanks a lot for learning more about our farm and we sure appreciate it.